Hello, welcome to another Unreal Engine tutorial. So in the previous video, we have seen how to create the animation states for the character. So now in this video, we are going to start uh, adding the shooting logic for the weapon here. So before starting this, I will create a uh, UI for the crosshair. Uh, so just what we'll do is just we'll create a new folder called UI. So here first we'll create a widget for the crosshair. So we'll go into the UI. So right click user interface and just we will create a widget widget group in so so like this wb underscore crosshair so just we will uh, add a canvas to this canvas and here we will add an image here so search for image image drag and drop let's say we'll name it as like crosshair so we'll uh, place it in the center so we'll go to the anchors so if you want this image should go directly into the center just we need to control shift left click so that it will, it will directly go into the center here and we'll make the image size to like 50 by 50 depends later we will change okay so what the thing is we need to add a crosshair image uh, which we'll download from the google so you can select any one of them uh, so i will download this transparent image so let's say we will select this first one so if you want exactly the transparent images we have to go to tools uh, here we need to select the any color to transparent here so we have imported this uh, crosshair into unreal engine here so this is a crosshair so we will add this to image so select this go into the widget blueprint and here in the brush we can click on this so we got this thing so if you want you can increase the size uh, we will see first so now when we press play still uh, it is not showing the crosshair as we need to add it to the character here so what we will do is so we can open the character blueprint so go to blueprints survival so here in the event begin play we will add this uh, crosshair so at the end so just we will move it little bit up and now here create widget so here we'll search for crosshair and just add it to viewport add to viewport click on this uh, now we will see so we got this uh, crosshair here so now if you go to the weapon state we can so the crosshair is little bit small so we need to increase to like Let's say we'll make it like 100 by 100. We'll see. Yeah, this this looks good. So now we will add the shooting logic for the weapon. So what we'll do is just we'll go to the character. So first we'll create an input for the uh, fire fire thing. So just we'll go to inputs. So here we will create a blue like a action input for fire. IA underscore fire and just we will add it to the default uh, action so default so we'll add mapping so here fire and just we will use the left mouse button for fire so that's it so now we'll come to this blueprint IA underscore fire so here uh, what the thing is we will uh, add this line trace by channel to add the shooting logic for this thing so uh, we will connect from the trigger so that when we hold it will keep on like shooting okay so we will connect it to trigger and if you want to use the semi-automatic uh, weapons or for the shotgun or any sniper we need to connect it to like started so we will uh, for time being we will connect it to trigger so what we will do is we will add a node called line trace by channel so we need to define the start location where the actual line has to start so if you go into the viewport uh, like if you see the weapon so for timing just i will enable enable the weapon so this is the weapon so the line trace has to start from this muzzle flash so we need to define the start position of the uh, line trace here so what we'll do is just we will bring this uh, weapon the skeleton weapon as you see if you go go to this skeleton weapon here if you open this 
you can see there are some uh, sockets available defaultly for this weapon so if you go into this uh, muzzle flash so see now this is a muzzle flash uh, socket so what the thing is the uh, line has to start from this muzzle flash so we need to copy this name so right click copy selected bones so what we'll do is just we will create a socket from this so get socket transform so we need to select this get socket transform so so we need to copy paste this bone which we have copied so this thing and now we need to right click split struct and just we need to copy this value location to the start here okay and also here the trace visibility uh, let it be visibility and just for timing we will add this uh, we will click on this uh, for duration so that we can able to see the line tracing here and also here we need to select this RTS world and now you see if you click on so see now when we aim now it is going to start the line trace from the starting point but the thing is we didn't define the end trace so that's why it's going directly to the 0 0 0 of this origin here so wherever we shoot it is directly going into the 0 so this is because if you see here the end location is 0 0 0 so the location of the objects here are 0 0 0 in the XYZ direction so what we need to do is we need to add the end location uh, for that we need a camera so what we'll do is just we will drag this camera here so what we need to do is we need to get the world location of this camera here so get world rotation and from this we need to get the forward vector get forward vector so now we need to define the distance where it, the line trace has to travel so for that what i will do is just i will add a multiplication and now i will convert into single float so right click on this float let's say we will add like 2000 or something 2000 and from here again we need to add we need to connect this so that it will go to the end location here so this is the thing so just we will adjust it properly so basically this is the end location where it is going to end this line trace so so now we'll see here so now if you alt p go into the weapon state and right click and if you aim now see it is going perfectly to the cross side location so as we have defined the end and now the thing is so whenever we hold it is creating lot of uh, line traces which we don't want we need to create a uh, we need to have some uh, gap in between each bullet here so what we'll do is uh, we will go to this trigger so first we will add a node do once node so if you add do once node what it will do basically like uh, it will shoot only for one time so see now again it will not shoot whenever we left it what we need to do is we need to reset this thing uh, with a delay so here I will take a sequence let's say I will take a sequence here and I will add a delay D left click and now I will connect it to reset here so basically what it is doing is every let's say we will uh, type 0 0.1 or something so every 0 0.1 it is going to reset so that will not uh, get the continuation line traces so now so if you right click and aim now we are getting a delay of 0 0.1 it depends uh, so how much delay you want you can add so let's say suppose if i add 0 0.3 so now it will create a bullets like line trace in between 0 0.3 so it depends so if you want uh, we can go with 0 0.1 okay so now we got this uh, logic here now it is going and hitting the wall so now see it is going to hit the wall and now if you want to increase the distance you can increase the distance uh, by using this value here so if you want like 4000 or something 4000 now the distance of line trace will be 4000 distance like in this way So now uh, 
we need to add the damage uh, functionality so let's say here you can see if we can add the branch we can connect this thing so what the thing is what is the use of this branch uh, whenever after this whatever the logic we are going to connect first it has to re, uh, meet these conditions here so what we will do is just we will take a break hit result and here and here you can see so in this cases we are going to create the actor blueprints uh, like actor uh, like an enemy so whenever it hits to the actor we need to apply the damage so we are taking a break hit result and from here apply damage and if it is true then it will apply the damage so it depends on like if you give the value to 10 so for each bullet it will damage like 10 percent from the 100 percent health so it depends on the weapon which you are using if it is a shotgun then you can give the value to like 50 or something uh, if it is a one hit uh, sniper or uh, you can give it to 100 percent so for timing i'm going to like 10 percent so literally when we add the enemies so you can able to see actually there is nothing damage here uh, we need to add an enemy ai so if you go so it's already applying the damage but uh, we need to add the enemy characters here also one thing we need to write a condition for the shooting logic as well so when we are in idle walk run or like when we are in the crouches we should not be able to shoot uh, so now you can see when we left click it is going to shoot so when we are in the crouch set then also it is going to shoot so what the thing is we need to write a conditions when we are in the weapon set then only it has to shoot so it's simple uh, we need to go to this character and here we need to write a conditions as well and the condition is has weapon so when we are in the weapon state then only we can able to shoot so now if you see now see when i left click it is not shooting when we are in the couch set it's not shooting so when we are in the weapon set then only we can able to shoot okay. so when we aim then it's shooting so in this way we can so in this way we can create the shooting logic for this uh, weapon here so in the next video we are going to see how to add the muzzle flash and sound effects for the weapon while shooting and also the shooting animation as well. So see you in the next video.